bro. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> That's pretty cool. This is interesting, you guys. Look, 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 look. Yo, yo, yo. There's fish right under it. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another vlog. Today, we are testing out the deeper sonar. Check this thing out. It's pretty sick. Uh, based on my first impressions. I haven't actually used this thing yet, but it does get some great reviews and I've been getting a lot of questions from y'all after making one post on Instagram about this. And what we've got is the Deeper Chirp Winter Bundle. So it even comes with a thermos and neck gator, which I've used to make a little coffee this morning. We're gonna take this out. Uh, temperatures is in the 50s this morning. So we're gonna be sipping on some warm coffee while we test this thing out and see if we can't find some fish with this little guy right here. No guarantees on the catches. The bite's been a little iffy lately, but let's see if we can't find them and see how accurate the sonar readings are We're using the app on our cell phone. I got it out, you can unscrew it, and then you can plug it right into its USB charger. This thing is now good to go, and there's three different mounting locations for your line based on if you're going to be mounting it to a boat, if you're gonna be casting from something elevated, say like a bridge, or this bottom one here is recommended for casting from the bank. So I've got it all set up. I'm gonna throw this on a rod that's got, or a reel that has braid on it. That way the line floats. I think that'd be a little bit better than maybe a fluorocarbon or even monofilament with a stretch. We're just gonna go with no slack on the braid and get this thing put it to use. So let's go ahead and head out to the ponds. Hey baby, we almost to the location, hot coffee in hand, and you know we had to stop and get a couple spicy chicken sandwiches. Let's dig in. Light is currently red, but uh, looks like Buddy's meeting us over at the pond anyways. We're gonna have a little fun throwing around the deep. We're seeing if we can't catch some big hogs at this neighborhood pond. Uh, he's actually had his plates ran when he went into the main gate of this neighborhood, but we're gonna sneak in this little back entrance I know about, see if we can't put this deeper to the test and see if we can find some big fish on the radar. That's me. Camera just fell. Allow me to shift. And yeah, we'll catch up with you when we get there. All right, y'all, we're here. So what I'm doing is tying a, getting a big loop going for a Palomar knot with this 30 pound braid. Toss this thing out. See what happens. I think it automatically turns on when it hits the water. We're about to find out. Ooh, coffee's still burning up. I'm gonna let that simmer for a minute. Have that before work. All right, so here she is. I think I think like when it touches water, it turns on. We're about to find out. Boop. Wi-Fi. Oh, deeper chirp. It didn't show up at the house, but once I put it in the water, it shows up. Put up. So I think I'm connected. So like, if I go to the app, what happens? Uh oh. Oh snap! It's happening. Okay, so. She's at a fair distance, 60 degrees, 10 feet, 59 degrees, 58 degrees. This is cool. It's like a foot right here. Does it really get that deep? Wow. Here we go, smartphone mount, pulling out all the stops here. How the heck? I have no clue how this works, but I assume this goes like this. Check this out. I'm no rocket scientist, but I think this is how this works. I'm trying to keep my back to the wind. Everything to the left is like when I had it out of the water. So it's just starting to do the initial scan out there a little deeper. It looks like it is a 12 foot depth, 55 degree temperature over here. So it gets a little bit colder and deeper out here. And I'm not seeing any, any fish or nothing. If we go narrow, now the reading should just show like only like seven degrees. This is supposed to be where you can even like tell the fish species apart. So we moved a little further down. We cast it out here by the fountain. And uh, we saw a little bit of stuff there on the bottom, but I, I guess that's maybe just grass or something. I don't know. Now we're 11 feet deep. This thing is deeper than I thought. Hashtag deeper. This is an interesting little gadget right here. Apparently it turns off automatically when it's out of water for a long enough amount of time, I guess. It's got an auto on feature. Have you seen this thing? I've seen them before, I've never like... It's pretty cool, but like I haven't, I haven't seen any fish yet on it. So like as soon as it hits the water, if you have the app open, as soon as it hits the water, it like connects and it starts showing you like the scan. Oh. There's something. Dude, I don't know what that is. There's something. There's little, little uh, feeder fish. So look, so look, so look, we can go narrow. And now the reading should be a little bit more accurate. We're seeing something here. Bro, 
That's pretty cool. This is interesting, you guys. We're getting our first readout of what's potentially some fish right here. And they are suspending in like three to seven feet of water, whether it's little bait fish or not, right by the aerator. I wonder if it's getting confused because of that. No, it was even out further when we first started getting the reading. It's other ponds, but I just thought the only way is probably through the main gate. Two suspicious fishermen roaming the neighborhood. <laughs> well, we didn't just hop that. Nope. Thanks for getting the gate for me. <laughs> we are in. Whoop. Holy slippery. Dude, this is like clear. Whoa, really, really clear. this is not like the last one. Look, 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 look. Yo, 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 right down at the bottom under the... It's right there. Yeah, right there, right there. Dude, right there, there's, there's fish. Fish right under it. Look at this. Look at this. Dude. Barely suspended. Throw it. They're schooling. Yo, <laughs> look at this. Guys, this is dope. Hey. Got him. Got him. It's not too big. Maybe two. There we go. First fish on the crack and crawl, here we are. I knew that thing wasn't steering us wrong. Right, let's get this first one back in the water, guys. Nice pound and a half, that was a good bite. Luke's on. Wacky rig Senko? Wacky rig. Blue? Oh, it's bigger than mine, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe. I think so, bro. Dude, that's that's definitely two pounds, that's bigger. That's much bigger. Oh, dude, that's two and a half pounds maybe, huh? Good fish. It's fat. <laughs> Yo! Big fish right here on Look the baby blue Cinco. Is that baby blue? Oh, it worked though. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'll get a release Sick. on it now. Let's do it. Luke's got another one, man. They are stacked over here. That's what's no, good fish though. Oh no, like he's good too. Dang, man. Switched up the Cinco color a little bit, mainly because I ran out of the other one. But a little baby bass color here. and. There we go. Yee. Dudes, this thing is killer. Quick update, and we're gonna try and catch a couple more fish. I have to leave soon, but this thing, unfortunately, is retired for the day. I got it caught up in this bush, and uh, now the casting is just not happening. So basically what had happened is, down the zone, thanks to the Deeper Chirp, you guys, 15% off with the link in the description. I'll put a code down there if you go straight to Deeper's website so that you can get a discount on this thing. Super sick, dude. Water temperature, death, depth you can see the structure you can see the fish we identified a large school that's where we've been casting and unfortunately when I casted my cracking curl I kind of wrapped the li uh, line around it one time and then as I reeled it back in we got this thing caught in this bush over here and it's a whole mess so the deeper is expired for the day it is retired for the day uh, the braided line killed it here's how I'm storing it because it is fairly heavy so it's not good to just leave it dangling off your rod tip I've just been kind of cranking it down right here good way to store your deeper when you're out taking it on the pond excursions and uh, yeah, dudes, let's try and catch some more fish because we know they're in a zone out here thanks to that sonar, man. I'm pumped. Let's catch some more, bro. Just put the camera up. Luke's on again. No way. Yeah. Freaking oh heck, dude. <laughs> Number oh four. Oh my gosh. Same spot. <laughs> Stacked. Oh, screaming, bro. No way. <laughs> that hook set with the lighter gear. Oh my gosh. They want the Sanko. Same spot. <laughs> I do have to go in probably 10 minutes or something. Uh, he's having too much luck, man, so I went ahead and stole some of his plastics. I'm on. Oh, dude, he dropped it. Did you see that? Ooh, yes. Did you see that? They I'm talking. Like they do like that weightless, the slow moving. They do like that. I mean, it's got a little weighted head on it, but yeah, it's, okay, it's okay. pretty much weighted, weightless. Quick. Cinco change, last minute. Switch back to the original baby bass color. Last minute, last minute, last minute, well, last minute. I gotta go, yes! It's a good fish. <laughs> In here, boy. Do not mess around now. Oh, oh yeah. He's <laughs> There we go! Oh, and there goes the Seiko for the win. <laughs> Just made a, I was switching back between colors. Did, and, uh, did that hit the blue? Yeah, it hit the baby bass. Hit the baby bass again. Yeah, I switched to the little one with the chartreuse tip on it. Yeah, yeah. I switched back again and got her done. Thank goodness. Yeah, like, that was dang. like the last cast. Yeah, seriously. There we go. <laughs> oh, God, dude. 
Okay guys, that wraps it up. It, it's kind of a bummer because, ooh, this pond is so good. We know there's big ones and I feel like the next hour, hour and a half is just prime time before sunset. I gotta go to work though, so uh, I'm gonna make the trek back to the vehicle, drive down the street, and go park some cars, man. It's time to valet. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thanks to Deeper for sponsoring it. Hopefully we can throw some new sick products like this for you guys in the future. I wanted to feature it anymore. I was on such a time crunch though, and my initial impressions are the thing is sick. I cannot wait to throw this, especially like on the yak, dude. When we take the yak oh, out. Yeah. For sure. Oh, freaking that, having a... That's gonna kill. I think it's gonna be so much fun, man. We'll know exactly where they're at. If they're out deep, think about summertime when they're out deep and you're just trying to pinpoint these things. <sighs> I just never used a graph or nothing like it before, man. Love it. Peace. <gasps>